Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with a video that has taken me a while to get around to filming because I kept finding more things that needed to come into this video. And that is the late 2022, early 2023 Barbie fashion packs. So today we are going to be restyling a bunch of Barbies after we review these fashion packs because there are a lot of outfits to choose from and I have a lot of Barbies that got rebodied, especially color reveal Barbies, that didn't have a whole lot of actual outfit left after they were rebodied. Now you'll see in the video I have the holiday deluxe Barbie pack I'm treating that as a fashion pack because it cost about the same as one of these because I got her for 15. So we are going to look at all of these outfits. There are some more that are laid out in front of me. We're going to look at everything that comes in her pack and then we are going to start the restyle. This is going to be a bit of a longer video most likely because I have at least at least 10 Barbies that need to be restyled from these outfits that I've had on hand. Now, there are three accessory packs that are back here that we're also going to look at. So, without further ado, this is how we're gonna do things today. I am going to open the bags. I'm going to show you each piece individually I'm going to give you my thoughts on the pieces, and I'm going to divide the pieces into accessories, purses, miscellaneous, shoes, tops, bottoms, skirts, and dresses, and jackets if applicable. Because just because they come together does not mean that they are going to look good styled together if anything of the last few years has shown us that. So you'll see me putting things off to the side. That is basically where we're at right now as far as how this organization system is going to go. Now, most likely the organization system will break down. I, I know me. A pile is going to fall over, a doll is going to fall over, it's going to happen. So just bear with me when it comes to this video because this is more of a hangout with me video than an actual review because you guys know what fashion packs are. There's nothing unexpected in these. So without further ado, we have the Barbie Jurassic World little matching sweatsuit kind of thing, or not sweatsuit, but like it's a tank top and joggers. And it's cute. We get some very cute like mint green shoes, a very nice, um, very um, vibrant metallic gold, but not an actual metallic, the dull gold, but it's actually in the middle. So this has a different color than we usually get with our gold accessories. So that's kind of nice. And we get a couple of bracelets, we get a backpack, we get headphones, and a nice little camera for vacation when you're running away from dinosaurs. So these are roughly, um, Let's see, I think these are $12. Here's the UPC. I did find this one on sale a while back. I think on Amazon I ordered this one. But they're very cute. Oh, and there's glasses hidden in the bottom. You don't even really see those very much. Um, and we're going to have our little bags set aside. I think that's what I'm gonna put some of our stuff in as we go forward. Um, just to keep things organized, especially the smaller details. And that is generally what I do in my own collection. This is a very cool, I'm getting Wakanda vibes off of this, which is fun. I'm gonna put that into one of the smaller ones that I have though already open empty bag. Much easier. 
to use a small bag than it is to use a big bag for things like this. And this is how our little bracelet looks. Very fun. And our other bracelet is just a little stud bracelet. Very fun. Not in a metallic gold or transparent or anything, which is a little disappointing. Um, but it's all right. Here are the glasses. I actually like these glasses because they're transparent and they add just a little bit of color, which I think is nice without, you know, hiding the doll's face. I'm actually going to put glasses in their own little area because they're a little more fragile. And then we've got a backpack. We see this kind of backpack, this mold, pretty frequently. And it's a purse. It's just a brick, unfortunately. So it doesn't really do anything. So bags that I most likely wouldn't style a doll with, I am going to put in their own little area because who needs to, uh, to keep that around when you know you're not going to style a doll with it? Now, some people really like the Barbie purses. I'm not one of them. I'm much more likely to put a camera like this on a doll, but this is going to go in a different spot because that is a random accessory. Same with our headphones. I do like this mold. It's not bad. And we've got our shoes. And these are Barbie heads on the bottom, not the B. So these will actually fit curvy and tall, which is great. And shoes we're gonna put over there. And now we gotta go through and trim all of these little staples to remove some of our clothes. So joggers, these will most likely fit our curvy dolls, so that's nice. We do have a couple of those to style this time around. And then our last piece of the puzzle for this one is our little tank top with the dinosaurs on it. Not bad. Um, and then that's it for our, for our um, first fashion pack. So again, you're going to see all of these get tried on at some point, most likely, but I will show you guys as we go through each how they fit with just a random body. Just for the people that want to know right off the bat how the outfit looks together. <laughs> is gonna make it a little bit longer. Well, this may not actually work for Kirby, surprisingly. Um, it's pretty tight on there. Um, so that's not bad. I'm trying to remember which body I pulled this from. Um, this is one of my Barbie Life in the Dream House bodies. But very cute. It's a cute little, you know, separate set. I like it. But we're going to split it up into a top and a bottom. Just like the dating lives of my people. <laughs> uh, so there we go. We've got those. And our second one is going to be one of the newer ones. We've got three different fashion pieces in here in addition to these new shoes. And we've got a cute little like picnic basket. And these are from the Barbie Loves the Ocean so that they're made from recycled plastic, which is great. Here is the UPC for anybody who's looking for this one. I like this cute little cherry dress. 
I don't know how it's going to look, though, because it doesn't look very structured. And I'm a little worried about that. But it's still fun. And once we get three bags, we'll start splitting things up. Um, so my first question I want to know is, are these curvy? Yes, these are Barbie heads. These are curvy and tall approved. Perfect. That is something I am always looking for is more, uh, more curvy and tall shoes because they are surprisingly hard to find. So here is the little like yellow rose apron dress. It's very cute. That'll work on top of most tops. I actually think the mint top they give us is a little bit of the wrong color. Um, we'll consider this just a dress. And then here is our little bag. It is hollow in the bottom, unfortunately. And it's in like a brushed copper, so that's fun. Um, a little bit hard to use this as a purse. But I would definitely style this in a house, so it's interesting. And then here is the dress we were talking about, the little cherries on it, cherries on top. Uh, and let's see, is this a dress that you have to wear something under it, or is it just weirdly structured baby draw dress, I wonder. This will be the answer to that question. Because it looks a little bit like a maternity dress, but not really. So I don't know. Mm. Okay, so yeah, it's just like a, um, like a baby doll dress. This may fit our curvy dolls. We'll see later. But this is not very structured at all. Um, so this is giving Midge baby bump dolls. But it's still cute. But like, I, I don't know if I would style a doll in this dress. Just because it doesn't have that structure that you really need. But it looks comfortable. I'll give them that. And the material is good, and I like the little ribbon holding up the straps instead. Uh, and let me show you how this apron dress looks if we just don't put anything over it. Or under it, I meant to say. Um, so this is without anything under it. And this is a lot more structured. Um, you have a lot of room. So I'm gonna say this is designed for a curvy. So that's good to know because this is actually cute and it has structure unlike normally. I do wish they would just give us curvy fashion packs sometimes. I feel like it would just be easier. Cause sometimes I see something really cute. I'm like, I wish that was made for a curvy doll and it's just not. Um, and we've got this really cute, like, uh, princess sleeve dress, or not dress, uh, top, which I love this style of dress, of top. It is a little hard with um, pointy doll fingers, and this type of material on the sleeve kind of sucks, but at least you can see through it, so you're less likely to get it stuck. I mean, less likely, but you know, still pretty likely. Like that took me a couple of shots right there. <laughs> DuckTales. That is not the DuckTales tune though. Um, but very cute. We haven't. We don't get this kind of 
top very frequently, and this is set for a for an original style body. So she's cute. I like that. I might put a yellow top underneath that blue gingham dress, though, just because it's cuter, I think. And that's it for that fashion pack. And that's a top right there. And lo and behold, our next pack has a yellow top under it. But it has this cute little sunflower dress that I don't know how that's going to work. We'll see. But it also has this weird like swimsuit cover-up kind of thing. I don't know. And she's got sunglasses and another weird purse that I wouldn't style at all with. So two useless pieces I can see right off the top. Um, here is the UPC for this fashion pack in case you're looking for it. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba. Okay, I'm gonna put these dresses into one bag, tops into another, and bottoms into a third, now that I have three bags available. I'll scooch those off to the side. So, let's see what we got. So I'm loving the way this dress looks. It's very 90s, it's lovely in that 90s way that they really did sunflowers to death back then. Let's see how it looks. And we've just got some very simple ribbon sleeves. I'm catching a vibe from some of these things this year. It's a lot of ribbon sleeves for these doll fashion packs. Ugh. Fighting me thing. So, I'm not sure if I just have this on a weird spot or if it's just like, I don't know. Something's up with that strap. But it looks cute. You don't need a shirt under it. So that's not a, that's not bad. Um, so I like this. I will definitely style a doll with this. Now let's see, we've got our random little pink beaded bag. I'm not going to even bother with that. Uh, we do have... Some more sunglasses. These are at least transparent. They do go with the sunflower vibe. So I could I could style something with that. It is cute. It's just not really kind of the vibe I go for usually. With my dolls, I tend to go for as close to street ready as possible. This is why I hate the little freaking staples. Even when you're not stressing them, sometimes the fabric just does not uh, bounce back. But sometimes if you just rub it a little bit, it makes it a little less obvious sometimes because you activate those fibers again. I don't know, it's fine. Uh, this is a very cute little yellow top. It's actually a cap sleeve top so that's fun it's not just like a t-shirt let's show you guys how this looks so again very cute it can go a little off the shoulders um so Thankfully, we've got that. I love basics like that. They're wonderful. And then let's see. We've got what I think 
is shorts. Yes, it is. It is shorts. Awesome. Just some nice denim shorts. That is great. That are for Kirby, maybe? Let's see. Yes, they're for Kirby. Perfect. I love that. This is worth, this is, I think, probably the most useful fashion pack so far that we've had. So, this is kind of one of those pieces that I don't love because who's out here wearing sheer outer layers like this with not a swimsuit, I guess? It's, I don't know. Maybe people are and I'm just not seeing it, but like, I live in a hot place. You'd think there'd be people wearing sheer stuff. But it's kind of fun. It's got the sunflowers again. Um, this is a an outerwear thing, so I'm gonna stick that off to the side uh, and sort some stuff out. So bottoms, tops, and a dress. Our next one is this very cute polka dot and gingham little like double pack. I like these. I like this one. It's giving um, Marianne from Gilligan's Island. And then this one is very like mod 60s. Like I'm here for it. Um, I have some vintage Barbies that are on the way, like the original um, the Fashion Queen with the wigs that I may put in this kind of uh, dress. So if this one doesn't get used today, it's definitely going on my ones that they get here, hopefully this week. And I'm gonna, cause they're just heads. So I'm gonna have to do a little work on them and uh, then rebody them. So they're getting updated y'all. Oh, here's her uh, UPC in case you're looking for her. Again, these are usually around 12. You can get them reduced to about nine or seven eventually, if you wait around for them to go down. Not always a guaranteed that they go down in price. Some of them stick around at full price for a while. Um, Target is really good about keeping them at full price, and I say good, and you know, they don't really like clearance out things as quickly as Walmart does. Um, Walmart, I've found things that are like brand new that go to clearance somehow. So, but I love that because I like to buy some fashion packs in bulk, like anytime they give uh, Ken pants, I buy multiples of that one because it's really hard to find pants. So here are his, here are, oh, and it's a fully open skirt in the back. So that's good. Because that means we can probably fit this on a curvy without too much effort. It's very cute. Decently long for a skirt for Barbie. So that's nice. Um, let me show you how it looks with the top. Ba -ba -ba. And this is really cute. Uh, I love me some polka dots. Like I have uh, a couple of midge dolls that I need to uh, restyle because I couldn't, I don't have their, uh, well, I have one that I didn't have her original clothing. And then the other one is that rewind doll that's gonna get, that got rebodied in one of my previous videos. So, very cute. Like, this is a really sweet outfit. Like, it's very much like, um, like sassy country girl, or like small town, old timey country girl. Not like, you know, boots and trucks country girl at this point, but really cute. Like, I love this top. It's super sweet. Um, I don't 
think it's gonna fit on curvy dolls, which is unfortunate because I'd love to pair it with that, uh, with those uh, shorts. So we get a bracelet, so not bad. Just another little stud bracelet. Same one that we got in orange earlier, which is pretty typical of fashion packs. If they don't give you an accessory, they give you something tiny to kind of be like, oh, well, you just got like three pieces in this pack. Um, okay. Oh, and I'm just now realizing the sleeves are gingham, they're not polka dot. Interesting. That's a decision. I would have just gone with polka dot, but it's still cute. So, let's see. Okay, so it doesn't open all the way down the back. Um, so we'll try to figure this out. A little bit harder to put these sleeves on when you don't have them all the way open out the back. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. And again, we've got these like princess sleeves, which are very fun in my opinion. But you can't see through them this time, so a little bit harder. So, there we go. Bum, 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 bum. I might need to iron this. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. So it's sweet. It's not as cute as I was hoping it was going to look. But like if you did a white belt in the middle, I think it would be much, I would think it would be a little cuter, but it is definitely giving that mod 60s um, silhouette, which is just that straight kind of twiggy vibe. And when I say twiggy, I mean the the supermodel, not the <laughs> not just a twiggy person. But very fun. So a dress, a top, and a bottom, pretty good for our, for our go round on that time, right? And now I do have some other pieces that I've taken off of dolls that are going to make their way into the end of this video when we're actually styling dolls. Um, but for now it's just the things we have pulled from fashion packs. Bum, bum, bum. And this is where we're at so far. So not bad. And then we've got, I'm sorry if you can hear kids in the background, they are being very loud, not mine. They are being very loud because their parents let them play in the stairwell. And we've got some cute little, like, platform converse. These are B, so it's original Barbie and petite can wear those. We'll put those over there. Now, this one is a Ken and Barbie pack, which is fun. But it's also, I just got it because it's cute, and it's one of the newer releases. Um, this is very much Ken and Barbie go on vacation. I'll probably need to buy another one of these so I can have Ken's and matching outfits and Barbies with these really cute um, rainbow suits. Here is the UPC. And then. There they are right there. Very cute. Let's see. So we've got a little Barbie visor. Nothing too wild about that. Um, I don't usually style Barbie hats, but I might on this one, just depending. And let's take a look. This one. Okay. 
So here is our little one piece. So it is just a standard little one piece. Nothing too wild about this. Um, so it does have a halter that you have to tie up after you do it. And it's got some Velcro on the back. So it should, should work, but there's not a ton of stretch for it to fit a curvy. Um, this kind of thing is going to go in outerwear because it's one of the specialty ones. Now, surprisingly enough, you don't have to tie this little cover up, which I love that because I can never get the knots to look right. So this is actually pretty cute. It's got some island flowers on it. And then we've got some Ken stuff. So Ken, little like sunset swimsuit, not bad but it is Ken. Uh, we could possibly throw these on a curvy Barbie. They tend to look a little odd though when you do that. Let's see. And we've just got one little staple holding him in, so that's nice. Uh, we can use this as like a cover up if we feel like it. Um, we do have a lot of fruit themed Barbies this go around from our uh, sweet fruit scent Barbies and then we have some shoes for Ken now we don't have a ton of flip-flops for Ken which I love flip-flops or slides um, and these actually are raised so they're gonna hold his feet in better so that's good but again we're not styling Ken in this video we are just styling Barbie so I'll take these and put them aside. And then we're gonna take our outerwear stuff and swimwear and put it in that one. But it's a cute set. And now we're getting a little closer, y'all. We are getting there. We have got just our regular fashion packs now. We did all the doubles. So starting off with the fashion pack I'm dubbing Avril Lavigne. It's very cute. It's got some daisies. It's got a little bit of that pop punk aesthetic. She's got some white mountain boots on. And here is the UPC in case you're looking for this one. Okay. And then I'm going to try to get this out carefully. Mm -hmm. Very fun. We're going to put her in her thing here in a bit. So, get that one. Now, just the one. These are generally about 6 or $7. And this is very tight, it looks like. So I'm guessing this is going to be uh, petite or original only. We'll see if it fits the... Um, we will see if it fits our Barbie when we put it on her. Okay, so let's see. So there's a little bit of stretch to this one. I'm not going to lie. There's a little bit of stretch. Not enough that I would risk putting it on a curvy Barbie, I don't think. Just worrying about the integrity of the hems. But. It's cute. It's like a sweater dress, almost. But as you can see, it's really tight back here. So I think this is actually going to be a better fit on a petite doll, which is good to know. I do have some petites that are in the um, that are in the pile, but it's very cute. I don't know how I would style this. Maybe with a jacket, like a black jacket, maybe one of those faux leather ones. I think would be cute. Um, and of course, she's got some 
little boots. And these are actually Barbie heads. So curvy and tall, get some more, um, some more shoes. So that's great. I love that. And we get some more glasses. These are very vintage inspired. These are almost a recolor of the glasses that original uh, Barbie is wearing in her black and white bathing suit, soon to be rocked again by Margot Robbie on the big screen. So very fun. Whoop. Everything fell over. Oh no, that's okay. Things fall over. Did you panic? Yeah. Ugh. Don't run away. There we go. Why are you running? Okay. Uh, so, very cute dress. We got some fun little sunglasses. And then we got our shoes. So we're getting there. Lots of dresses this go around. Like I love when Barbie has dresses, so that's great for me. So our next one is we've got this little off the shoulder number, and I think this is a skirt, but it's like a galaxy theme. We get a little silver chain that's in a dull silver, and we get another brick purse. That's the UPC for this one, in case you're looking for it. And we're gonna get it out. Now these are all Barbie Loves the Ocean. So these are made from recycled plastic, which is great uh, and kind of surprising because that Barbie Loves the Ocean line has not done real great. But I'm, I'm proud of Mattel for like sticking with it. Or at least just giving us the moniker and making us feel like we're not contributing to the plastic waste. But the best next thing they could do is like not include the little staples. That'd be great. Um, big open skirt on the back. It's supposed to be denim, but it's uh, more of a canvas material. Let's see. Oh, it is wide enough. Looks like it'll fit our curvies or it's gonna be a really low-rise skirt. Either way, it'd be kind of cute as a low-rise skirt, but I'll probably rock it on a curvy. Um. <sighs> but then we've got another basic, it looks like, in that there's not an obnoxious pattern on it. And that is this cute little, like, gathered, one-armed, top or yeah it's very cute it's giving Cameron Diaz and Charlie's Angels in the dance scene very cute um, I do love this actually it's really sweet so two good pieces another piece for curvy I'm pleasantly surprised that we've gotten as many curvy pieces as we've gotten. Um, here is our little brick purse. It's in like a transparent neon green. So nothing crazy about that one. Um, but it goes into our bag of shit. None of those purses are cute, Mattel. <laughs> and then our last piece is just this little like Wilma Flintstone necklace in silver and it's a dull silver not a metallic silver so that's a little little eh but it's fine uh, that goes in our necklace bag uh, let's see what else we got what else we got over here over here so look at the door tour uh, so a top and a bottom right here ba, ba, ba. now what is probably our most controversial fashion pack Mattel has done in a decade the cat
cow pack. Because why? Because you longed to become a gateway computer box of the 90s? But like, I don't know. And worse, why does it have a, a shoulder strap bag, like a, like a crossbody bag that's probably only gonna fit as a fanny belt? And why are there even cow prints on the boots? So wrong, but so right. There is the fashion, there is the UPC for you in case you need to find this one. I have a feeling this one's gonna stick around for a while because it is kind of like fugly, but fun. And, you know, if you break up the pieces, it's fine for, like, an added little thing, and I will most likely immediately take the cow print off of the, off of the shoes, because I can. So, here are boots. Very cute. They've got roses on them, and they are heads, so those will fit our curvy and our tall. Wow, this is a good day for curvy shoes because like I've said before, there are not enough of them. And then here's our little bag. It's eh, it's a brick. We don't worry about those so much. Um, and let's take a look at what our skirts look like. These are more t-shirt material. So they're a little bit stretchy but I'm not putting a curvy doll in cow print. That is just mean. Um, eh, I mean, if you didn't have it with like the boots and things, you wouldn't immediately tell the pink is cow print. But like, it, it's not cute really on that aspect. Sometimes I wonder what, what they are smoking at Mattel. But it's a decently cute skirt, it works. It's got a little bit of flair to it, which is fun to make it not just like a straight skirt or a circle skirt like they love to give us, or worse, the tutus. Um, but a cow crop top is next. There's no getting around it on this one. You are not Cruella DeVille. You are, you are definitely a gateway computer box with this shirt. So it is like a crop top, halter top, open back, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot going on with this shirt. There is a lot to unpack here. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see. So, it's kind of cute, actually. If I had just, like, if I put this over like black yoga pants this would work it'd be kind of adorable and then you'd wear like some cute white uh, sneakers Ooh, or like white go-go boots that would be kind of adorable so i don't hate that top as much as i thought i did i just hate the outfit in particular the outfit together is not giving what they wanted it to give like it would have been one thing if like the cowboy boots were the same color as the skirt or like you know just black with white but they gave us an added like violet it's too many colors to be cow print at that point cow print needs to be monochrome but it's cute like i i will i will take back the fugly comment it's fugly together the pieces themselves are cute, but those those spots are coming off those boots as soon as I take a break here, um, which I might do because this video is already almost at an hour. Um, but here is our next one, and this has got a lot going on. There's polka dots, there's chevrons, there's stripes. She's got some flip-flops. Um, Barbie flip-flops are not as stable as Ken because they just give like these weird V's to kind of hold things on. This is actually a brick purse, but it looks like a real bag, so I'm okay with it. Here is the UPC for this one. Let's see. 
how it looks once we get it out. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, and there's also leopard print down there because I don't know. So, again, these really only work with flat foot Barbies or made to move Barbies. These don't stay on real well on heels. They do have the B, so that is going to be a petite and original Barbies only kind of look. Here is our purse. It's cute. It has different back. That's always nice. Uh, it's still a brick, so we're gonna put it in there. We have much better doll purses from other companies to style things with, but it's still sweet. And there's actually another hidden little staple under there that we're just gonna to cut to get out of the way. So I don't know if this is a halter top or if there's just bows at these sleeves. Okay, no, so there's just bows at the sleeves. Which isn't bad. Like, this is kind of cute once you take it out. There's a lot going on with this, and I don't love that. Um, but you've got one, two, three, four, five colors on here. So, it's not bad. It's just a little weird. Um, have this many patterns and I know they're generally inspired by some kind of looks um, but those looks aren't always obvious what they're trying to go for and again this is our like fourth ribbon sleeve which is fine again I don't I don't hate a ribbon sleeve it's just kind of like a theme of this kind of round, like if you have a dress, you have to have ribbon sleeves, is kind of where we're at. Okay. But this is actually really cute on. Like it's definitely giving 90s. I do wish they had made it entirely this pink polka dot or the blue polka dot and then given us this ruffle. Um, but it's still really cute and it's going to fit curvies. So that's good because there is stretch to it. But all in all, there's not a lot to that fashion pack. You get a dress, you get the purse and you get the shoes and that's it. Um, which I mean, that's about par for our course with these smaller fashion packs. So, yeah, yay or nay, um, but very fun. And then, yeah, see a lot of dresses this time around. And next is another one of our older ones. This is giving like, like gym clothes for some reason, or like male cheerleader uniform. But it's cute, it's got the little headband piece. I don't love those, but they are easy to style with at least. And we've got what I think is a watch, but it's facing the wrong way. And here's the UPC for this one, in case you're looking for it. And let's get her out. Right. Move that bus. And it was fighting me on the way out. Right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> um, so, we've got our shorts. They have an elastic waistband, which is nice. Um, got a little stretch to them. Not horrible. Let's see. 
very peach. So I will probably put this on a darker skin doll just because it'll look better than it will on an ordinarily on an ordinary Millie. Which is great because voila. Okay. So we've got our top right here and this could be its own thing you can style this with a couple of different colors um, you don't have to put these with the shorts and again because you can hide that waistband of the shorts underneath the top uh, you don't necessarily have to style it as a set but it actually looks really cute this is one of those times i'll give them a win because this is just vintage enough to look cute without being oh my god that's so vintage kind of feel to it and I love matchy matchy so if you give me matching sets every series that you release I'm gonna love you but very cute another top another bottom and thankfully not a ton of pattern tops this time we generally get a lot of pattern tops. There's been a lot more pattern bottoms this time than anything else. Um, but, and let's see what these accessories are this time. So yes, it is a watch. Little watch right there, not bad. Uh, into the bag of jewelry, it is in red, which is okay but i tend to keep my accessories to a certain color and red is going to be hard to match ex other accessories to blue ribbon for the hair pretty fun pretty easy to match um, and then one more actual fashion pack left after that, it's accessory packs. So here is our Malibu little outfit. We get a fun little necklace. We also get a bracelet. We get what I'm hoping is a skirt and then a tank top in here. Here is the UPC. A skirt that's actually open on the back, which is nice. Not always a given, but it's just going to be an easy way to put the doll in there. Um, and let's see, is this a... This might be a curvy, or it might be an original body. Let's see. Oh no, it is, an, it is a curvy. So... This is about where our skirts normally will sit. If it comes down this low, it can be an original, but this is designed to be a curvy. So, awesome. So three curvy bottoms. Everybody loves a curvy bottom. Uh, and then a tank top. It's not horrible. I wouldn't necessarily style this but I have used tops like this before. Um, so it's not bad. Here is the close-up of the necklace. These are little like, I wanna say like, like dahlias, but I don't think they are. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like an anemone or something. But still fun. And then we did get a bracelet like this. These are stacked bangles, is what they're supposed to be. And that's it for that fashion pack. 
So a top, a bottom, a couple of accessories. It's about where we're at. But that is our second basic bottom, which is nice because those will go quickly. <laughs> so, our next lineup are our accessory packs. So this is the sleepover pack. It's very cute. It's got an alarm clock. It's got a teacup. It's got one of the new styling brushes. It's got a big um, hair scrunchie, it's got some slippers, it's got a sleep mask, it's got a little like makeup bag, it's got a pillow, and a headband. Oh, and a little bracelet just for the fun of it, I guess. I don't know what that has to do with the sleepover. But these are fun. I do want to see if these shoes are curvy or if they are um, original petite. Because you never know. Oh, and here is the UPC for anybody looking for this one. Now, we did get these pillows a couple of times already. And the same kind of backpack that we've been getting for a while. But this one's got a little, uh, little cloud on there. Kind of fun. Um, and the pillow is hollow. But it's great to put these on, like, Barbie couches and things. So, not bad. Here is the little cat makeup bag. Nothing on the back of that. We've got our little sleep mask. We get these in our travel dolls usually, and they just hook around the back. So, not bad. A fun accessory to have. I haven't seen this alarm clock done in a, like a while. And it, it's hollow, but it has the clock mechanism back there. So that's really a fun feature. Uh, it's got a sticker, I guess, that is a little off, but I can use my powers of stickery to try and smooth it down a little bit. Um, but it's fun. It's a little clock face with a cat on it. Uh, so it's like a kitty slumber party because she's got some cat ears on her headband, so that's fun. And I have not seen this mold before, so that's fun. And it's got the little plug to sit onto our counters, or our tables, which is nice. Here is the new styling brush, so that's fun. We see that with our hairstylist dolls. We've got a little bracelet. Now these generally come in our hair play dolls and I'm not quite sure why but they do have the ability to just kind of like pop open so you can just scrunch around but I've never styled with these but I would you know like it's not a horrible thing it's just me it's kind of eh uh, put these in our little jewelry ones And then all the rest of those are just accessories. Oh, and they are, um, they are heads. So these are curvy and tall. So that's awesome. So we got another pair of curvy and tall shoes. So that's awesome. And I'll actually take those and put them all in one. Let's say, yeah. <sighs> Cause these are just like house accessories. Not so much styling a doll accessory. So that would be a dumb little bag. I love these little bags. These are my favorites. I keep those all the time. It's my favorite part about getting new fashion packs is I know I'm gonna get new little Ziploc bags that'll hold up over time. So our next one that we've got is our ice cream sweets bag. So we've got a couple of, we've got some sunglasses, we've got a couple of food items, we've got another purse, we've got a big bow, a la kind of like Melly Martinez or Sia. Uh, we've got another watch, another purse, 
some cute shoes and a decently cute bag. That's like a tote. And then here is the UPC for anybody looking for it. Bum, bum, bum. So we are going to get this out. So we did just hit the hour mark. So I'll probably upload this in two parts. So if you just want to see me restyle the dolls, I will uh, do that in part two. Jeez, oh, you're fighting me again, aren't you? There we go. Uh, so, don't you know? Here is our bag. It does actually open, so we can put like a little laptop or something in there. Um, it's got a little like printing on there, so it's not actually a sticker or anything. Uh, there's not a space for that on the other side, so that's nice. Uh, this would be the best bag, I think, so far, so that's good. Um, and then we've got our little headband. It's like a fuzzy headband, which is kind of random. Here is our little ice cream purse. This is very Barbie extra. I don't love that. So in this little purse, in this little um, fashion pack, we got three purses, because here's another bag. This is just like a strawberry. Just meh. And then here is an ice cream cone. Those are always fun. We've got a drink with a little um, purple lemon in it. Very cool. We've got a little ice cream bar. Always fun. And now on to doll accessories. So here are the shoes. They are bees. So this is going to be original and petite, which is okay. We need original and petite every once in a while. And then we get these cute little sunglasses. They are pretty close to transparent. Um, so something I would maybe style, except for the fact that they are hearts, and I find that kind of tacky. And then we have this in a dull metallic gold. It's cute. I'm not a huge fan of, of the uh, star, but it makes for a really easy trim, and you'll just have like a gold chain. It's generally what I like to do with those, just specifically that mold. And we have a watch that's in blue. It's actually the same color as our headband, so that's not bad. Because, like I said, I like to match my accessories. So we are going to take those and put them into the same thing. And we had our other stuff in. And, of course, all of our purses will go in the purse bag. Lots of purses. And our food will go in the little. Did I. Where did I put the other food? I know we had like something else. I didn't put it in there. Hmm. Oh, I put it in this one most likely. No? Hmm. I don't know. Whatever. It's fine. Uh, so, home accessories. Not bad. And then glasses just kind of go off to the side. So we'll find a better spot for this. And this is our, one of our older ones. This is a day at the park one, like the amusement park. But it's nice because we get an iPhone. So that's fun. And we get some concert tickets. And we get some like basic black shades up there. And we get some more fun boots. And a bracelet and like a pinwheel and a balloon. Those are kind of eh. The balloon Barbies are hard, or the Barbie balloons are hard to pose with, I've found. And they do not work with a Barbie that is not articulated, just an FYI, to Mattel. Like, you have to have at least wrist articulation to work those balloons. So our shoes that we get are very cute. They're like studded combat boots. 
and they are Barbie heads. So we've got another pair of very cute Kirby shoes. And here is our little balloon, very fun. We've got a different camera. This is more of like a Nikon, so that's fun. Here are the sunglasses. These are kind of more old school um, Ray-Bans from like the 80s. We got another visor. It's not bad. The visor actually matches our little fanny pack this time around, so that's fun. Um, and then, of course, we have got... Oops. Ah, everything's falling away from me. This is the fashion pack, of course, that fights me. It's the very last one. Um, so this is a series of stacked bracelets. Always fun to have those. Uh, Pinwheel is an interesting sculpt. It's not completely hollow, but it's not bad. And we've got another sort of dull metallic gold rope chain. So not bad on that part, it's right there. And then here is our phone with some apps. It does have a little handheld, so that's awesome. And these are paper. This is literally just a cardboard ticket to the amusement park. So this is kind of eh on that one. But that was the last of those. Let me show you guys. Home accessories. It's kind of surprising they don't include food in this one, but I don't know. These, see the difference in those cameras? This is more of a, a Leica, and this is a more of a Nikon. And now the last thing we're gonna look at is our big deluxe fashion pack that originally retailed for 20 and I got on clearance for 15 because I don't pay retail when I know things are gonna last on the shelves. <laughs> Unless I really want them. So, She's very cute, you guys can see. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine actual fabric pieces that she's wearing. And she's got one, two, three pairs of shoes. And surprisingly, only two purses. And she's got a belt and one of those pearl collars, glasses, and a visor. So, it's interesting the way they did it. Let me turn her around so you guys can see a little bit more of what it is. And she's actually wearing a pair of shoes, so she does have four pairs of shoes. These are kind of the, the vibes that they've got going for it. Now, they included another one of these little swimsuit cover-ups, which is kind of a wasted piece but is okay because she's wearing like the you know the printed swimsuit all the time. But once you take that printed swimsuit away, you know, you don't have a top that goes with this banana pants. You don't have a top that goes with that one. You don't have anything to go under there or anything to go with this purple tutu styled one. But they're cute. And again, this was right there the UPC these are still in stores um, not super hard to find I'm trying to figure out the best way to open this and I'm thinking it's gonna be from the side tab but it's flaking apart on me
All right. She doesn't entirely fit in my viewing area, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. We'll get it. We'll get her out. Don't worry. You see the fashions, and that's really the point of today, isn't it? Uh, okay. So here she is. She's very cute. Uh, she is a 2014 sculpt, which I can't remember what this is. I don't think it's summer. Um, this is actually a really cute skirt, I think, because it's got enough of the blue and the pink that this could go with a couple of the tops that we've already had from our fashion packs. Um, so we'll take that and we'll sort it. But it's more of just like the puffy circle skirts that we're used to getting. And then here is her little like color reveal, pretty much. She does have flat feet. Here are her shoes. We've seen these shoes a couple of times. Uh, they are B, so that is our original and our petite. Now let's look at some of these pieces. Yes. Yes, cream. We love a poofy tutu skirt. Very Carrie and Sex in the City. Um, Actually, I don't love a poofy skirt. That is sarcasm, y'all. These have a lot going for them in theory, and in application, just look boxy and not cute. So here she is. This is actually better structured than some of them because it has an inner lining that's not staticky. Um, but you'd have to pair this with something else like the extra deluxe dolls like a uh, like a black tube dress underneath or something like that but it's cute like I like this material it's got just a little bit of shine to it that's not too crazy um, so it's our second bottom let's take a look at this dress decently cute dress. I like this color orange. It's very cute in my opinion. Oh, and of course there's another hidden little staple in there because I don't know everything needs staples to make it stay. I'm sorry I miss starch. Don't y'all? I don't remember anybody talking about starch in the last 10 years. That is so an old school thing I guess. Let me know if people still starch their shirts. I know I don't. Okay, so this is giving a little bit less than I was hoping it was giving. So it's got these cap sleeves that are a little ruffly, but not too ruffly. Um, I don't know if it's cute or not. I like it, but it's not going to be wide enough to fit a petite because that struggled to go on an original, I mean not wide enough to fit a curvy because it's barely hanging on on this original body and that's without the made to move chest, so I don't know. And I think this belt is supposed to go with it, I'm not sure. This belt seems a little random. I would have rather this flower been white. But let's see. So with the belt, it's a little bit better. It gives it more of a ruffle and less of a just poof. I like that. That's cute. Um, and you could also pair it with this really cute little Melanie Martinez collar, or inspired collar. It's basically just a dicky. And you do it like that, giving it a little more Brady Bunch feel without the belt. So that's not bad. I'm not mad at that. 
That is a contender for outfit of the set at this point. But that's our first dress. And we kind of knew it was going to be bottom heavy on this pack because she has the built-in top. Which is why I hate when they do those. Because it's just lacy. It's like, give us a top. Why? Uh, this is kind of cute. I don't know if this is also going to be one of the curvy ones. It doesn't feel like it is. Oh, no, it's not. Because it's got just the uh, the half elastic. Which is generally a good way to tell if it's going to be a curvy skirt or just a regular skirt. Or an original body skirt. Well, this is kind of cute. It's got flowers and a little bit of like leopard print, kind of, but it's a little abstract. It works. You could pair this with an orange top. You could pair this with a yellow top. There's lots of options for this one. And now we have seen how these little cover-ups work. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. This doesn't add anything to an outfit, in my opinion. Um, especially considering there's no uh, pattern on it at all, like there is on this one. But it's literally just the exact same pattern. Um, without a, you know, printed pattern on it. So, let's see. So, we've got our next one. It's the first top of the bunch. Actually, I think this is our only top of the bunch. He is going to be popular at Fire Island. Um, so, bum bum bum. This is cute. It's a little kind of shapeless, but I like the pattern enough. But again, this is something that I would put over. Uh, over a basic, maybe over that, uh, the bottom with the blue band, because this will be wide enough, the peachy bottoms, because I think that's the same color, almost. Um, but it's cute. There's also these little shorts that are right here that are, I think, kind of designed to go with them. And they're this uh, kind of minty green. So let's see how that looks on our doll. All right. Bum, bum, bum. So just some high shorts. These don't look great on their own just because of the way the elastic works and looks more importantly. Um, but it's still fun. And then let me get this hand through there. So that's how it looks on. It's not bad. It's cute. It's a cute outfit. I'll give it that. But again, they, they knew better than to try to pair this with another pattern. There's a lot going on on here. You have to pair that with a basic. Um, just in rules of good fashion, I think, in my opinion. Again, anything I say in these videos is always my opinion. If you like to just blend patterns like crazy, just go for that avant-garde avant-garde gauche um, go for it that is all y'all I will not fight you on that more power to ya I just won't uh, I won't be matching those <laughs> um, and then we've got confusing pants next 
I'm not sure why they exist. But they do. They do exist. So we've got banana pants. You've heard of banana grams. Now get ready for banana gauchos. All right. <laughs> and they don't have any, um, um, whatchamacallit, they do not have Velcro. They are just elastic. That's not bad. They actually fit. They are really wide legged. Like, it almost looked like she is in a skirt, but she is not. So, I mean, if you paired that with a black top, and then, like... Well, actually, we have that green top right here that's almost that same color. So maybe. But with how busy these pants are, definitely got to use a basic on top. At least... A basic on the shirt you could do a wild um, a wild jacket or something like that and I'm not gonna fight you on that one but let's look at our shoes okay. so we've got our cool crazy boots this time in teal and these have a B, so even though they look like they're the same, they are technically not, I guess. They look a little narrower. I'm not sure why. I don't know. These look the same to me, but I'm not sure. They have different things. I tend to trust those, but we'll try those on two different ones and just kind of see. So, and the most important shoes of the 90s, coming back, jelly sandals. Those are fun. Who doesn't love hot plastic on their feet? Again, we've got bees on these, bees on the knees. Got some cute little ballet flats that are in silver with like a, just a little detail at the front and again bees on those sorry if you can hear my nose whistling my allergies are acting up again it is crazy down here in Texas So here is our bag. It's cute. We've seen this one before. And then try to get this out without any damage. Insane in the membrane. Hey. Eight, six, five. Damn, she We've got a nice pink visor for when Barbie wants to go play tennis. We have a matching metallic silver clutch. That's actually not bad for a Barbie purse. And then we have got our little sunglasses again inspired by original Barbie not bad and our last piece that is out of here that we're going to try on our test Barbie for those of you that don't want to stay and watch me style dolls in part two even though I think that's the best part this is our cute little, uh, it's not Paisley, actually. 
in the online descriptions it looked a little Paisley-ish, and I was a little worried about that. I'm not a huge fan of Paisley. Uh, I do have the Paisley Ken that just got released not too long ago. I haven't rebodied him or taken his outfit off of him yet. There's a couple of Ken fashion packs that have come out. Those will be their own video. Just FYI. Because Ken deserves to shine. Uh, so this is basically just another like structured t-shirt sleeve dress. It's not bad. You can put a belt on this. Um, we don't get a ton of Barbie belts, unfortunately, but it's cute. I'm not mad at this. So that is the end of our fashion packs. And I just want y'all to know that this has been super fun. So we've got a lot of new curvy pieces this year, especially shoes. Let me show y'all. So these are our new Barbie shoes that we've got. And then we've got a lot of curvy Barbie shoes this year too. So I don't know, that's exciting to me. And again, here is our girly. Her face does not match her body, unfortunately. She looks much darker than her face. But she's cute, but I'm pretty sure I already have her somewhere. Uh, this isn't an uncommon face up. It's one of the more budget, budget dolls that winds up in the play sets more frequently. So if you guys have questions on any of the fashion packs or accessory packs that you saw in here, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for the next unboxings, and more importantly, follow along for part two of the Barbie Restyle Extravaganza. Bye, y'all. Be good. <laughs>